embrace your new season because God has a plan that must be fulfilled in you. Make a joyful shout unto God all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name and make his praise glorious. God bless you everyone. This is Daryl Elliott and I'm so excited to come again with you that we might be able to worship the Lord together, that we might be able to share in his word and connect with one another as we do every week in these time in this time of worship and in this time of fellowship don't forget to like and subscribe to all of our channels that we are sharing the lord is growing us and the lord is blessing the latter rain global church and we thank god for you and all of those who you have exposed to all the things that we're doing we're very appreciative of the work that god has given us and you are very much a part of it so don't forget to like share and subscribe with all of our channels our youtube channel our facebook channel and everything and we appreciate your love and you sharing in the vision to share the gospel around the world. Also, don't forget to also invite someone to join the Latter Rain Global Church or if you yourself have not joined, you are welcome. Make sure you connect with us because we are a global body of believers. Believing God for His blessings being manifested around the world and we appreciate if you would Consider being a part of our work around the world, joining hands with like-minded believers and sharing with those who do not know who the Lord is. So make sure you go on the website on rain-usa.com and you can find out how you can become a part of the global church. Also, on Wednesdays at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, we have our online Bible study, and I tell you, this is a wonderful time where we can come and connect, share in God's Word, and some of the most wonderful people are participating, and I am thankful for that. The Zoom link is also on our website under Bible study. Don't forget to get connected with us at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, and we appreciate you coming in learning about the Word, growing in the Word, so we can be able to be better in His presence. And the last thing is I want you to also consider to always be a partner with us as we share your financial gifts, large or small, are greatly appreciated. And we will pray over your love gifts. We pray that God will multiply back to you 100-fold all that you have sown. Know that there's no seed that you don't give that God does not look upon kindly. So whatever you can give we really appreciate it it helps us to continue the work to do what we have to do around the world and we want you to share in this grace that god has given us well soon we will get back into the word of god today i have an exciting word for you but first of all we're going to have the ministry of music by my dear daughter out of kenya purity atiano and she is going to bring a wonderful worship to you and I, and then after that, the reading of the word, and then we will have today's message. Yeah. 
Ruth chapter 1 verses 1 through 18. Now it came to pass, in the days when the judges ruled, that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, the name of his wife was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malan and Chilion Ephrathites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to the country of Moab and remained there. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left, and her two sons. Now they took wives of the women of Moab, the name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. Then both Malan and Chelion also died, so the woman survived her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Therefore she went out from the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. And Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest, each in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, Surely we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters, why will you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb, that they may be your husbands? Turn back, my daughters, go for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband tonight and should also bear sons, would you wait for them till they were grown? Would you restrain yourselves from having husbands? No, my daughters, for it grieves me very much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. Then they lifted up their voices and wept again, and Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods, return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or to turn back from following after you, for wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge, your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. 
Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts you and me. When she saw that she was determined to go with her, she stopped speaking to her. That, that worship is so awesome. We thank God for what you are doing, how God is blessing your ministry, and we are just so thankful that you share in your gifts to the body of Christ, and we love you, and thank you so much. I hope you were blessed by that. I know I was, and just continue to pray for all of our ministries around the world, all of our partners, sons, daughters, pastors, teachers, bishops, whatever their role is in the body of Christ. So Latter Rain is a global connection and we are thankful for all of you so purity we love you and we thank you so much well we heard the word of god and we heard a mighty word that we many of us are familiar with who have maybe been in church if you have not been in church maybe this is your first time this is a very very um well-known scripture that we see in the bible this is a a, a covenant partnership between ruth and Naomi and you see here that it was a very very pivotal time and we're going to talk about today uh, having to progress in the face of uncertainty progressing in the face of uncertainty and life has a lot of uncertainties life has a lot of things that we have to go through and we've been talking a lot about moving forward that's been the theme of all of our messages lately. And there are different compartments and different ideas that we must look at in terms of moving forward. So I want to bring this word to you today because we have to learn how to progress when things are uncertain. We see here that Ruth and Naomi, and Naomi being the older, Naomi was the mother-in-law of Ruth. But first, it was Ruth, Naomi, Ruth's, uh, uh, Naomi's husband and family. She had sons, and they were married to, they were married to Ruth's, uh, to Ruth and Ruth's sister, Orpa. And when a time came, her husband passed away, and so then Naomi was still with her sons and her daughter-in-laws. But an interesting turn takes place, a devastating turn takes place. Both her sons die. And now it is now just the women left, Ruth, Naomi, and Orpah. And we see here that there is a there is a devastation that took place in their life. And and I want to stop here and connect the dots because sometimes in our life we will find deep devastation. I don't know. Who is under the sound of my voice today that may understand this? But I know that there's somebody listening to me that you have suffered deep, deep devastation. You have suffered a lot of pain. You've suffered a lot of hurt. You've suffered setback after setback. And when one domino falls, it seems like the whole board goes. And, and you have no, no way of being able to pick up the pieces because there's so many. Have you ever had a lot of pieces that needed to, to be put picked up in your life? Brokenness after brokenness. Uh, tragedy after tragedy. And not only does she lose her son, uh, her, her husband, but she loses her sons. And, 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 and now she is left with two daughter-in-law widows. And now she says, and she is so devastated, she says to them, you, you guys go ahead now. I'm, I'm, I'm old, I live my life, I've, 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 been, I've been okay, I've been blessed. I'm going to go on and find my way, find my next season. And, and it got to a point that uh, Orpah said, okay, I'll go. Okay, I'll go, I need to go find me another husband because, you know, there are no more husbands left laying around here. And, and she already said, I don't have another husband to give to you, so you guys need to go on. You're young. You're, you, you're vibrant. You still have a chance at life. Orpah takes the deal and she says, I'm going on. But Ruth says, no, I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay close to you and tied to you. And, 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 and see, when we have devastation, when we have brokenness, and when we have this, a lot of times we don't feel that there's no one, that, that we're not worth much to anybody. 
We're not useful. We've lived outlived our usefulness and, and other people might as well go on and enjoy their lives. And we feel that it's all over for us. So, somebody, you need to understand that it is not over for you. It is just beginning. Sometimes devastation is the start of a new season. Oh, see, you see, you didn't know that. You you thought what you had was it. You thought what you had was was the whole story. But God says no. Sometimes devastation is the beginning of something new. And, and this is what you have to embrace. Because the Lord does not forget you. But the Lord has a deeper plan than what you've been used to. Sometimes you're used to something and you don't understand that there's something bigger in play. And how can... Uh, how can Naomi be able to see the forest from the trees? Because her husband and her sons are devastated. But God said, you know what? I still have something. I have something that you weren't ready for. And it is Ruth that comes in this moment. In her own brokenness. Having lost her husband. And she says, I'm going to stay. Which brings me to my point that God has a covenant ready for your benefit. God has something or somebody that will be able to connect with you in your deepest, darkest hours. God said, Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is able to guide your footsteps to make a connection that will allow you to move on and this this covenant relationship is iconic in the bible okay because later on she says where you go i go your people will be my people your god will be my god and, and they are connected always and they both come into extreme blessing together so so don't Allow the devastation to cloud your understanding of what God is able to do in your life. The devastation is only a transition. I want you to say today, my devastation is just a transition. It's just a transitional period in my life. And transitioning is something that we all must be able to do. We all face transition in our lives. We all face situations where we must pick up the pieces and start all over again. Transition is a part of the kingdom life. It's a part of life. But when you're a believer, transition is always moving from glory to glory. Say, I'm moving to my next glory. I'm moving to my next time. I'm moving to my next season. I'm moving to my next space. I am going to allow this pain to be converted into power. I'm going to allow this devastation to be converted towards my destiny. So know that you may cannot see through all the smoke right now, but God has a deeper plan and your devastation will then birth a covenant in which God is able to bring you into a greater level of prosperity, power, anointing, and purpose. Yes, yes. It was out of this pain, this connection was able to be forged. And when they made the connection, guess what happened? The blessing started to come. The journey only begun. The, the, the course of their lives were forever changed for the good. To the point that it is a part of history and lore in the word of God. Yeah, you must know that you... Thirdly, must be prepared to walk a journey that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? You must be prepared to walk a journey that does not make sense. Sometimes we will deal with times in our lives and journeys that don't make any sense at all. Sometimes God will, God will flip a situation... That was totally out of your idea of how things should be. Yes, your journey is not going to go as planned and by the script. 
See, these these are women who were just they were wives, they were with their husbands, they lived as a big happy family, and then in in just a short period of time, it's all wiped out. Now God moves upon the heart of one daughter-in-law to covenant with the mother, the mother-in-law, and then they go on this journey, and they don't know where they're going. But the next thing you know, they go to the kingdom. Uh, next thing you know, Ruth now is with the king, and now she is put up in the blessing and the power of God in her life. And all the circumstances are being orchestrated that they do not know about. And I want you to say right now, I am being prepared for my divine appointment. Yes, divine appointments do take place. Yes, you will find yourself in a divine appointment, in a divine season, where you're going to see God's supernatural power be able to manifest in your life. Some appointments you can't make on your own. You don't even know who you're gonna meet. You don't even know who is the right, who are the right people to connect to. So you might as well just yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. There are some people that you don't even think that can help you, but they are the very ones that will take you into your destiny. Don't do not have any preconceived notions. I, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a businessman, and one thing I learned when I learned sales is that you do not prejudge. You don't know who's going to buy. I remember when I was a partner in a firm, uh, a lot of times the people I didn't think were going to buy ended up being our biggest paying clients. So, so don't prejudge how God's going to bless you. Don't prejudge who holds the key to the manifestation in your life. Don't prejudge who's the one God's going to mandate to move you and press you into your next season. Yes. The blessings of God can can come upon you in such a way that you did not have in mind. And he's going to open doors that you never thought could be open and use hands that you never thought had power. Yes, these unlikely connections, unlikely covenants in devastation and unlikely situations are the very key to the manifestation that God has for you. Know that you are not forgotten. I want you to say that because Naomi was at a place where she gave, she had given up. She was fine if God forgot her. It was fine. Y'all go on, enjoy yourself. But God showed that he did not forget her. And in this connection, she became also the power that Ruth needed to go on to her quest in which God brought them into the kingdom. Yes, God has not forgotten you. God has not changed his mind concerning you. God has not come up with a new idea or a new plan. It's just that you're not comfortable with the process. But it's the process that's necessary for the plan to take place because you're not the only cog in the wheel. You're not the only part of this. You have other parts that you don't know about that have to take place in other places and spaces in order for the plan to come together. You just do your job. You just be faithful. You just be connected. You just be prayerful. You just be focused. And God, in your devastation, will bring you out on the other side with stuff that you did not even know. Eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them. And he can do exceedingly abundantly above all. You ever ask, think for, hope, and believe. So know that God is able to do more than you're bargaining for. Because of the mere fact is that his plan is solid. His power is sure. He is focused on your blessing. And in so, he will open the doors for you. That you never thought could be opened. So today I want you to put that in your heart. I want you to know that God has you on his mind always. God is thinking about you all the time. 
And I want you to give your life to Christ today. Jesus loves you. He's committed to you. He wants to bless you. So in this moment, I would want you, if you have not given your life to Christ, pray this prayer with me today. If you have walked away from God, pray this prayer with me. If you're not sure what you're going to do, pray this prayer with me. Let's do it together. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Come into my life. Lord, renew me. I give myself to you. Wash me of my sins. I would like to move forward in you. I walk with you. I love you. Holy Spirit, fill me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, you are now a part of the family of God. I want you to write to me. I want you to send in the website on the contact form. And you can let us know that you gave your life to Christ. If you have a prayer request, hit the prayer link and say what you need from God. And we will agree with you and we will pray with you. Don't forget, if you would like to be a partner with us, please love gifts large and small. We greatly appreciate it. And we thank you for your faithful tithes and offerings if you are a member and your loyal service and we thank you for all of you all of your love and all of what you've done for the promotion of the gospel well this is daryl elliott and i'm so glad that you joined with me today and i'm looking forward to connecting with you as the weeks continue to roll on and make sure you join me again next week for power living god bless you and see you next time